So you think you want to start learning sparring. This is a little tip that you can do that'll help you work with a partner, have good etiquette, and be able to get some functional sparring going. So the first drill that we're doing is, what you want to do is you don't want to be blasting in on somebody. So what I want Alicia here to do is just work on touching my shoulder, touching my ribs, being able to pull back. Now it doesn't have to be fast, okay? But she wants to be moving as I'm going, okay? Moving around. Good. So she's moving here. Okay? Good. I don't want to feel like there's a big impact. I want her to pull the punch at the moment of impact. Okay? This is great for when we're doing fight choreography and stuff like this. and allows that person to feel safe. Second thing is, I'm just going to lift my arms into a boxing position. She's going to move around similar to like a shadow boxing, working on touch points. Good. Go ahead. Keep moving. Keep looking for points. Good. Good. Move around, come in from other angles. Okay, you don't want to be still, you want to be staying in motion. Stepping with each punch if you can. I'm just leaving the openings, okay? Then we become this game called one for one. So what she's doing is she's throwing a punch, I'm blocking, and we're working on developing a rhythm, okay? We're moving at the same pace. Boom, and we're working blocks. Now here you can work on different techniques, you can use fakes, you can use all kinds of stuff here. But see, we're on the same rhythm. What I'll see a lot of people do that I really don't like is we're on a rhythm and then they either accelerate or guard yourself or they push through. Now if you're in there and I get punched in the nose, broken nose or something, black eye, it might turn into something. So again, for the one for one. First thing is just pacing each other. Find that pace. And then we're going to change the paces. So this is the first rhythm. Okay, the second part here is the, uh, where we're doing one for one, but I'm throwing the punch and she's working a counter punch, up and overs. Okay, that means I have to get my hand back quick to protect. This is longer range stuff. Okay, we still develop that. She's quickly coming off. So if this hand stays out, this is trouble, all right? This is one of the best punches, and she could finish it with a power punch later on. Boom. That's what we call an up and over. So she's here. We're just showing singles. Boom. I'm working on keeping my hands protecting whichever guard I want to do. I can use bond styles. I can use, I don't care what your art does. This is what you want to do. Okay, so she's working those up and overs. I'm gonna be moving a bit. Good, very nice. Then I do the same thing. So she comes in, I work the up and over. She's gotta work on either getting those hands. So I'm working that little quicker pace to get her timing. So we've moved up the pace a little bit. Okay. Good, very nice. After that, we then work the catch jabs. So as, I, as she's coming in, I'm landing at the same time. So she's doing it, okay? I'm throwing the punch. She's catching and striking at the same time. Good, working. Good, working those catch jabs. Good. Good. So you're just working this. We're just staying in the short area so we stay in camera. The next one, is slide punches, okay? So if she's coming out with a punch, I'm sliding on that angle, okay? So I'm coming from the outside of that angle. So I'm doing a deflection. Come with the other hand, sir. So you can see it here. I'm cutting, the elbow stays down and cuts through, okay? Boom. So you have to read that one. And this will be better if people are sort of rocking, so when I go and she cuts, she can sort of read it. This is the way you're gonna see moving. Now, See here, she's getting hit. This is because the elbow is not staying down. So the elbow stays down. There's not a catch with the other hand, okay? It's a punch right through here. So she comes in, throw the, so they can see. I'm sliding. If I go like this, I might as well just take the punch. So this cuts, boom. This is a palm up, kung fu style cut, boom, right through here, okay? So again, sliding through, right? So if I, she's going here, she's sliding. Catching that. If I come with the other hand, she's got to get that same sort of angle. You got pinch, 
pinch, there it is, boom. And I work on my, my ability to protect myself. So the other thing is three for threes. So she's coming in with three punches, she's staying on. And what I want to do is on that third punch, you're returning, so you're always keeping, the th keeping up the rhythm. So she's coming in, two, ba, ba, ba. Start simple, yeah. Good, so say I leave something open, I want to make sure that she can still pull that punch, okay? Don't get too excited, stay at a pace that you can go. Good. And so that the person can get used to seeing the punches coming without having to close their eyes. They shouldn't be afraid, okay? And we can make it go a little quicker once we get comfortable. Sometimes you gotta watch still, there might be a fourth, yeah. Good. 